So, you received your new teacher guide, but don't know where to start? It might seem like a lot of information, but don't freak out, we're here to help. By the end of this video, you'll be able to navigate the teacher guide so you can teach EIE with confidence. Now let's get started. Whoa, 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 slow down. The teacher guide is thoughtfully designed and structured. It makes materials preparation, hands-on activities, and assessment as easy as possible. But you do need to slow down and read it carefully. Third grade teacher Kate Lance just finished teaching an EI unit. I asked her what she found helpful in the teacher guide. The teacher guide was everything that I needed. I liked how it was set up. Um, there's an overview for every lesson, and that would give me the ability to be ready, to be prepared and organized. And then when I was focused on, okay, now I'm going to execute the lesson, there's the lesson objectives, which I held to, and they guided me. And so I would know clearly what's my focus and what do I want the kids to have for their takeaway from each lesson as they're engaged in the process. It helped me feel successful. Additionally, the guide is consistent across units, so you can pick up any unit and feel comfortable with its design and page layout. For more information about the teacher guide, let's ask Nia, a professional development provider here at EIE. We realize embarking on EIE can be overwhelming, and we want our teachers to succeed. That's why each teacher guide offers detailed lesson plans, teacher tips, vocabulary lists, background content about engineering, science, and social studies, materials management, and activity sheets offered on two levels, advanced and basic for differentiated instruction. For a closer look, be sure to preview one of our EIE units online. And for additional support, watch the other videos in the Getting Started series. In the end, the teacher guide keeps you on track by offering tips and support to enhance your teaching.